First opened in 1975, resurrected in 2006. We welcome you inside the Caesars Superdome, the home of the Saints here in downtown New Orleans. He fields it at the eight. Oh, he's got room past the 30. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. Dak going to put it up right away. He'll find his tight end. That's Jake Ferguson. And this is where the versatility of the tight end position really starts coming into play. Not only do they have to line up with their hand on the ground in line, but they can occasionally split out in the slot. And man, they're too fast for linebackers, and a lot of times they're too big for defensive backs. Now, man, back for his second go around the Cowboys, Ezekiel Elliott. And they bring him down, but not until he crosses midfield. This is how you drop your opening possession when you're on the road. The longer the drive goes, the quieter the crowd gets. Continue to mix in that run game. Let's see if they can finish off by putting this ball in the end zone. Dak can throw it here on first down. This pass right side caught by Lamb. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yardage, staying ahead of the chains by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. He'll come up now for second down and four. Prescott now. This pass right side taken in by Cooks. Dennis Allen not sure about that last call, so out comes the red challenge flag. They'll come up here first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Dak. He's got the open man. That's Jalen Tolbert. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. It's like a textbook, methodical, efficient NFL drive. Four for four throwing the ball, mixing in some run. You're just marching the ball downfield at your will, and they get a fresh set of downs now to see if they can convert this nice drive into some points. The open man is Tolbert. He's taken down just shy of the 10. There's this misconception out there, Mike, that in the NFL, you have to run the same amount of run plays as you do pass plays. Everyone talks about being balanced. But as you're seeing in this drive, you can fall on one side of that coin a little bit more as long as you're able to remain effective and efficient. So far, their passing game has dominated here early, and that last pickup leads to a first down. Well, let's give credit here to the coverage unit, Mike. There was nowhere to go with the ball for that quarterback. He had no choice but to just tuck it down himself, and he's able only to pick up a short game. Second down, Prescott. There he goes. He is in. Dak Prescott. Touchdown, Dallas. A terrific way to start this one. Not only a touchdown, but a nice long march down the field. Makes it a long walk back to the bench for the defense. Mike, that's about as good as you can imagine starting a game offensively. To be able to sustain that many plays and be able to cap it off with a touchdown. That is a dream start for this offense. Nothing is our score as this kick is sent into the air. Williams now to return. Whoa! 
And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. They'll motion their tight end, Johnson. Play action now. It's caught. That's complete. It is Foster Moreau. A great connection there. They're going to bring it down inside the 35-yard line. This defense just gets punched in the mouth on that one, Mike, and it just seemed from up here that not everyone on defense was on the same page, and the offense was able to take advantage of it. The defense has to clean things up here in a hurry, because if they don't, they could be in for a long day. This one is caught by Dewan Johnson. Now they are in business inside the 15-yard line. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. One quarter in the books. 7 nothing is our score. More from New Orleans after this. They'll work now on second and four. Carr working out of the gun. And that's going to wind up uncatchable out of the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. They went for it all on that one and just a little bit off. Ball winds up hitting the ground. They've got to move forward. The opportunities are out there. Better execution, better location, and... They got some big plays in their future. They'll throw here on third and short. And this won't be a touchdown, but it will be a first down as they're able to get the conversion and set up first and goal. Nothing a quarterback loves more, Mike, than being able to pick up a first down without being forced to push the ball downfield and force it past the line to gain. He settles for the underneath check down. He's confident that his receiver is going to pick up the rest after the catch. And he'll go down back at the four. In these goal-to-go situations backed up on your own goal line, Mike, what they teach the defense is it's your job to establish a new line of scrimmage. And that's exactly what they did here. Watch the push they get. The offensive line goes backwards, and they take the ball carrier down for a loss. Second down, Carr. That's hauled in at the two. And he's so close to the goal line, couldn't get that ball extended. They keep him out, and it sets up third and goal. From the shotgun, it's Carr. And he's going to go into the end zone, but he may have gotten a little help along the way. This one's coming back. So can the defense come up with the early stop here on third and goal? Throwing is caught. His pass taken in by Shaheed. I think this is one of those plays that when the ball carrier watches this back in the film room tomorrow, he's going to be a little frustrated with himself. If he could just have made that one guy miss, he picks up the first down. Instead, he gets brought down short of the sticks, and now they got a fourth down decision to make. Here's Blake Groupie for the Saints. A field goal try. This one is good. He knocks it through. And the Saints are on the board. It's 7-3. to three. 
You know, I think it's safe to say here, Mike, as this offense leaves the field, they wanted to stay out there and go for it. But I think in this case, the coach is playing the long game. He understands that these three points now can end up being very valuable as this game moves along. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Cavante Turpin on the return. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Cowboys offense ready now for their second drive. The lead sits at four. So they'll try to add on to that. This drive begins with first and ten. Operating from the gun. Here's Dak. That one incomplete. They can't hook up there. And that incompletion takes us to the two-minute warning. They'll try again here. Second and ten. A shotgun snap for Prescott. This one caught by C.D. Lamb. And he's going to be taken down as we hit the two-minute warning here in this first half. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. Prescott on third and two. That is caught. Hooks gets the grab. This pitch and catch may have looked routine, but I promise you, Mike, these types of anticipatory throws, especially outside the numbers, they don't occur without countless reps, oftentimes when nobody's even watching. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and ten. To the air again, Prescott has completed right side to Ferguson. You can see the eyes of the quarterback. He's trying to push this ball initially downfield, but with the defense doing a good job keeping a lid on the coverage, he's forced to check this ball down to the shallow route. But this is something that they know in the future. If I need a couple yards, they can come back to this play. They'll throw again, Dak. To the left side, caught by Lamb. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. And now you can see they're really getting in rhythm in this two-minute drive. Now, after that last completion, Mike, they cross midfield. Now the mindset goes to, all right, we got to come away with some points. They've got a quarterback who's in complete control, and they got to see if they can finish this thing off. From the 39, here's a first and 10. Prescott again. That's to the middle of the field and caught by Cooks. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. That last completion's going to go a long way towards at least finishing this two-minute drive, Mike, with some points. You're already in field goal range, so now the idea is continue to work the clock down, take a couple shots at the end zone. You want to get points, ideally a touchdown, but either way, you have the ball last before the end of the second quarter. They'll have to go the full 10 yards. It's first and goal. Again, Prescott to the air. That's to the left side. He's got Ferguson. Inside the five, it is second and goal. Now Prescott. It is brought in in the end zone. Jalen Tolbert, touchdown Cowboys. Greg, I love the precision on that play. Very little time, 
very confined space, and they come through with the touchdown. And it's the accuracy of the throw, Mike, that protects his receiver. Everything down here near the goal line is so condensed. You understand you're going to be thrown into tight windows, but when you trust your quarterback to protect you with the ball placement, it gives you a lot more confidence going across the middle of the field, and in this case, pays off for a touchdown. Final nine seconds of this half, and the kick is away. This one will be taken in the end zone. No run back forthcoming, and the ball coming out to the 30-yard line. The Saints offense going to take over just before the half. They trail now 14-3, so an 11-point deficit as they start things out with first and 10. Now, Carr. That's deep for Olave. And this one is pulled in. What a grab. The Saints offense is going to get it one last time here late in the opening half. They'll begin with the football in the red zone already as the defense has their back to the wall to start this drop. Here comes Blake Groupie for this field goal try. This, about as short as you can get. He is two for two. That kick is good. So we reach halftime, and the visiting Cowboys are in front. As we'll head over to Orlando. Standing by there, Jonathan Coachman. He has the EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Here comes the all-pro returner from last year, Rashid Shaheed. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Saints offense looking to get back to work as we begin this third quarter. The deficit is eight as this drive begins with first and ten. Now Carr on the bootleg. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Nice example there, Mike, of the quarterback just being smart with the ball, understanding it didn't quite develop the way he had intended. Throw that ball out of harm's way, live to play another down. He'll try again. It's second and ten. Here's Carr. Shahid with the catch. And he'll be taken down all the way up past the 45. I think the defender thought he had himself a pick here, Mike. He saw that curl coming the entire way, but unfortunately for him, it was a curl and go. They took him deep. Leads to a huge pickup. The tight end Moreau is in motion. field it's Olave and he'll be taken down but they are in business inside the 30 yard line points have certainly been hard to come by in this one today Mike but it seems like this drive has been what they've been searching for a little bit of rhythm the ability to sustain now they got to finish now they got to capitalize on these first downs and go finish with six and a nice run there on first down getting eight Setting up second and two. To throw is caught. And the rush gets home. He'll go down. They got him. Micah Parsons, too tough to stop gets in to bring him down. If there's one positive remaining, it's the fact that they're still in scoring position, but with the way they've been able to move the ball down here in the red zone, they're thinking six, but after that last sack, their chances of converting here for a touchdown have gotten a lot more difficult. Carr from the gun on third down. 
He locates his receiver. That's Perry. 13 yards the game, down to the 13-yard line. Space getting tight here, down to the 13-yard line. They work first and 10. They'll motion their tight end, Johnson. They'll run on first down with Kamara. And he finds a little bit of space. He'll take this forward for a gain of four. Here's a second and six. They're going to go right back to Kamara. And the Saints are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. Second down at these distances, Mike, you pretty much anticipate a pass, and I think that's what the defense was lined up thinking. In this case, they leave a little too much room on the ground, and the offense is able to pick up a first down. To throw, it's Carr. That's to the end zone, but it's incomplete. You have to come down with those opportunities. You're not going to get your hands on the ball very often as a defensive player. And when you do, let alone in the end zone, those are plays you just have to make. They'll try it again from the two. Second and goal. Carr working out of the gun. And he'll take it on in. Alvin Kamara. Touchdown, six. And this is just high-level quarterback play down here in the red zone. The way they teach them their progressions, Mike, it's touchdown, check down. You don't want to take a sack, and you certainly don't want to turn the ball over. He knows he has nothing down the field, nowhere to go to his receivers and tight ends. Check it down to your back. Let them do the rest after the catch, and it results in a touchdown. He's got a man. Take it in for two. And we are all tied here in the third quarter. We are all square, 14 apiece the score, as this one's away. On the return, here's Turpin. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Cowboys offense ready for their first possession of this second half. This one, everything we could have hoped for to this point. All even at 14, they'll start this drive with first down. From the shotgun, it's Dak. A short throw caught by Ferguson. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll run Zeke up the middle. And he's going to be brought down here on what will turn out to be the final play of the third quarter. So, three quarters now in the books. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Here's first and ten. Back to throw is Prescott. Toward the sideline, that's pulled in by Lamb. Dennis Allen, not sure about that last call, so out comes the red challenge flag.
Here's second and three to go. Now, Prescott. There's Ferguson, the tight end. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. This play is actually really well defended here. But I'll tell you, Mike, as you know, my philosophy is the tight end is always open, and this just supports my case. Dak going to throw it here on first down. The open man is Tolbert. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Here's a second and three forthcoming. To the right, here's Elliott. Oh, yeah. And they'll finally run him down, but not before he takes it inside the 15. You know, Mike, this is why they teach these guys to never give up on a run. There was multiple times there that he could have taken what he got, go down with the tackle, and live to play another day. But he kept fighting, broke free, and then look at the play that resulted. Huge game. A first down throw for Prescott. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Well defended there. The quarterback's trying to attack this defense outside the numbers. Those really wide angle throws near the sideline sometimes can be very hard to defend. So give a lot of credit to this secondary. They were all on the same page, and the ball falls incomplete. That's one he'd love to have back. An opportunity to score six was right there for the taking. Just wasn't quite meant to be. The sound deafening in the dome. It's third down. Operating from the gun. Here's Dak. That one a bit high, but it's complete. And a good job here defensively. They did not let him get away. He's well short of the first down marker. Seemed to me, Mike, before that ball was even snapped, the quarterback had already made up his mind. I'm throwing the ball to the tight end no matter what the look is. And he's counting on the big body picking up the rest after the catch. And even though he's able to secure the ball, nice job by the defense keeping him short of the sticks. And this has been such a tight game, but that's a big one right there. I mean, you need a kicker with confidence. Well, this guy, he fits the bill. He steps up and knocks it through to give his guys a lead here in the fourth quarter. So they lead by three here in this fourth quarter. Now have to turn it over to the defense as they kick it off. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. They'll come up for first and 10. They'll drop to throw. That's going to be pulled in by Kamara. And he's going to be taken down. And that will take us to the two-minute warning. Here comes second down. Back is Carr. No one open. He'll drop it to his running back. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. Really nice job here by the quarterback. Understanding what did he need to pick up a fresh set of downs. In this case, that underneath drag route was all it took. Get the ball into the hands of your receiver. Pick up a first down. Carr now to throw on first down. Quick throw here is complete. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. 
So they have these rules for the receivers, Mike. They call them green grass rules. And the idea is if you're running across the field and you're looking at the quarterback, you're going to stay on the run. If you're not looking at the quarterback, that tells him, I'm going to sit in this soft zone. I'm going to what they call punch and pivot and stop. And that tells the quarterback to put the ball on your chest. That nonverbal communication between the receiver and the quarterback recognizing when you're open, stay open, that's the stuff that makes a lot of these offenses so difficult to defend. Final minute, one timeout remaining, and it's first and ten. They'll go play action with Carr. Throw left side, that's Johnson. A pickup of 14 on that one. First down, New Orleans. Throwing with anticipation, it not only requires the confidence in both your accuracy and the timing, but it also forces the receiver to be on time and where the quarterback expects you to be. And this is one of those examples, man. When those two things are on point, it results in a first down. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. Here's second and two. Here's Camaro. And he will keep the drive moving. Gets the first down. Nice gain of five. Here we go. One final play. His fullback releasing, and he's going to bring it in. So it's a win here for the visiting Cowboys. They knew this would be a dogfight away from home, and they were right. But they come away with a hard-fought victory. And that'll do it for my partner, Greg Olson. For our entire team, I'm Mike Tirico. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody.